This handsome guy is Timmy and he had hernia surgery three weeks ago and he is going to have that procedure repeated tomorrow. I will tell you more after a word from our sponsors. That's me. What's up, everybody? Welcome to yet another Timmy update. And you heard correctly, Timmy has to have another hernia surgery. So for those of you who don't know, Timmy has a scrotal hernia and his bladder through surgery, we found out that that was protruding into his hernia. So that is certainly something that needs to be taken care of. And we thought it was taken care of through generous donations from viewers. His surgery was possible and he had that three weeks ago. And it was about 10 days after his surgery and I had been checking him every day and then my heart sank because I saw that golf ball sized mass was back and it was bulging right on his suture area and I was really concerned it was causing him pain. He was still eating and acting pretty normally. So we rushed to meet back to the vets for an emergency same day appointment and his veterinarian who did his surgery wasn't available, but there was another rabbit savvy veterinarian there that day. And they took a look at him and they said, yes, the hernia is back, but it was still reducible, which I found out that means that when you press on it, it will collapse back into the abdomen. I guess a non-reducible one, such as if the intestines were out there and you couldn't push them back in, that would be an emergency. He probably wouldn't have been eating. He probably would have been hunkered down in pain. So that would have needed immediate attention, but because this was still reducible, it wasn't an immediate threat to him. His veterinarian was really wonderful with being very forthcoming and honest. He thinks what happened is Timmy's non-dissolvable sutures allowed that bladder just to collapse back down. And I don't remember exactly what he said about whether um, the hole, which I believe is called the ingual ring, and in male rabbits it doesn't close all the way, so they are predisposed to hernias, but this was a rare hernia, this type of scrotal hernia. So we're not entirely sure what happened. We are just speculating that it has to do with the dissolvable sutures. So, some of you were suggesting a mesh to fix the hernia, and I did bring that up with the doctor. Timmy's vet did consult with an area veterinarian who specializes a little bit more in exotics, and they discussed the mesh, and this other vet said, look, I won't even use mesh anymore because there have been issues where it's had to be taken out of rabbits after having used it, and I think the issue with that is it's a foreign matter. Sometimes the body sees that as a foreign substance and it attacks it and it can lead to infections. So mesh was off the table and the two of them discussed that they believe a non-dissolvable suture is the way to go. And Timmy's veterinarian generously offered to repeat this surgery at no cost. And he certainly didn't have to do that. I am very appreciative of that, and that's very commendable. He's definitely one of the good guys. I really like his veterinarian, and he said that Timmy did really well with the anesthesia the first time, and he was going to use the same plan, the same strength. I don't know how that works uh, this second time, and hopefully since he responded to it so well, the first time, that will be the case this time as well. That was what I was most concerned about because I have been told by several vets and by a lot of people who have had rabbits with surgeries that that is the tough part, is the anesthesia for rabbit. Although I'm nervous for Timmy and I really don't know what to expect as far as any discomfort or issues that could arise from the non-dissolvable sutures, I know that his hernia with his bladder protruding into it needs to be taken care of because it will become an emergency at some point. And with both doctors agreeing on the course of attack, that does give me peace of mind. So check this out. 
Yeah, this is like a little bunny onesie. One of my viewers here suggested this because they didn't give Timmy the cone of shame, you know, the cone that goes around his neck to keep him from pulling at his stitches. And he was very good with them. They were glued on the outside, I believe, or they were non-dissolvable. But either way, he didn't bother them. But I didn't know if that was going to be the case this time. I don't know if they're going to use a different um, type of suture on the exterior. So this is a little bunny onesie for post-surgery. They do make post-surgical wear for rabbits. This brand is Max, M-A-X-X, -X, and it's got holes for the front paws and the back legs. And then it even has an opening for the tail and they're supposed to be able to poop and pee through that, but I have a feeling it's going to get pretty messy and he might chew on it. I'm hoping we don't need it, but if he doesn't get a cone and he would start to pull on his stitches, I wanted to have a backup plan in place. My son saw this and thought it was one of his onesies from when he was a baby. It's pretty funny. So this is a size small. I'm hoping that might fit him. <laughs> what do you think, Timmy? I think he probably will hate it, but if I need it, I have it. He's so sweet, you're kissing me. So yeah, that's the bunny onesie. Do you want to wear a bunny onesie, Timmy? I didn't think so. So that's the latest scoop on Timmy. I certainly did not fathom that we would be in this position when he had his surgery three weeks ago. And I'm just hoping that it works this time and that it's permanent. I'm going to be very nervous every day when I check him just to make sure that he's still doing well. You guys know that Timmy's my buddy. I mean, look at him. He's just licking my hand. Just such a sweet, calm boy. Hopefully everything goes well tomorrow. And thank you again for all of you who are so concerned about Timmy. I will update you guys probably through the YouTube community tab, or maybe I'll post on Instagram or Facebook, but I will let you guys know how things go. Thanks for watching. Sweet Timmy here has to have another hernia surgery. Camilla, <laughs> she's under the table. Hi, Cammy. There go the dogs. The dogs are barking. <laughs> I don't know what they're barking at. What is way for them to stop barking? What was they talking about? No, I forgot what I was talking about. Old age, that's what happens to me. So that's the latest Sunny Jim. Good mommy kisses. Good mommy kisses. Good kisses. Thanks. <laughs> You're such a good kisser, Timmy.